the finale brought us to tears, taught us it's still kind of hard to follow Shakespeare, and cast us back out into the real world. It left some lingering questions and perhaps mild confusion after 10 episodes. Delano. This is the ending of Station Eleven. Watch out spoilers ahead, but before that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Unbroken Circle features the resolution to Miranda Carroll's storyline, the woman who wrote the graphic novel that drives so much of this show. Although the series' earlier Miranda-centric episode ended on an ambiguous note, with seemingly still healthy Miranda hiding herself in her hotel room, she's already coughing in her first scene here. Knowing her time is nearly up, Miranda spends her last few hours alive calling up the pilot of a contaminated plane that's parked on the runway of Severn City Airport, begging the pilot not to let any passengers out. It's a devastating conversation between two people who know they're dying, one which reveals that Miranda is the reason Clark, Elizabeth, and Tyler were able to survive those first few days of the pandemic. I need help! Most of the present-day parts of the episode focus on the reconnection of Tyler, Elizabeth, and Clark. Although Elizabeth still loves her son, Tyler is still so overrun by pain and resentment that he refuses to even speak to her. Observing this dynamic, Kirsten gets the idea to change the casting for their play of Hamlet, pushing Elizabeth to play Gertrude and Tyler to play Hamlet. In the play, Hamlet is a character who's grieving his father's death and suspects his mother of betraying him, and Gertrude is a grieving mother who tries in vain to stop her son from being consumed by grief and rage. Kirsten forces Tyler and Elizabeth oh yes, of Hamlet. to address their feelings towards each other through these characters whose emotions mirror their own. Seems, madam. Meanwhile, Clark is moved by the revelation that Kirsten is the same girl he met at Arthur's play rehearsal 20 years ago and agrees to play Claudius. In the play, Claudius is Hamlet's uncle, who murders Hamlet's father and marries Gertrude. By taking on this role in the play, Clark acknowledges Tyler's feelings of being wronged by him and indirectly asks for his forgiveness. Right now. Tyler pulls out a knife unscripted and considers stabbing Clark in the middle of the play, but is unable to go through with it. No longer playing Claudius, Clark tells him he loved his father, and Tyler walks off the stage. For a show that's been so interested in the way works of art can help people overcome real-world problems, it seems fitting that it's a play written hundreds of years ago that helps Tyler reconnect with his mother. They don't deserve it. His storyline ends with him and Elizabeth making amends, and her leaving with him, and the rest of his children of the undersea. It's a bit of a messy resolution. Although Tyler's evil was toned down from the book, there are no child brides here, Tyler still kidnapped children, and brainwashed them into child soldiers willing to blow themselves up on his behalf. I just want to show you. The fact that he never deals with any real punishment for this may be disappointing to some fans, but this was never a show that was interested in questions of crime and punishment. The show's always been about how people can grow and heal from trauma, and that's exactly what it delivers on here. Finally, the show gives the long-awaited reunion between Jeevan and Kirsten. After Clark burned himself in the aftermath of Who's There? Jeevan was called over to help him with the wounds. There are a couple of near misses, and by the time the episode's almost over it feels as if the reunion wasn't meant to be. But with just 10 minutes left in the episode, they see each other for the first time in 20 years, and it's exactly as cathartic and emotional as fans hoped. As showrunner Patrick Somerville said in an interview for Rolling Stone, this moment was what the finale was always supposed to end on, that was literally the end of my pitch in every room that we sold the show in. The episode goes on a little longer to show two talking to each other, reminiscing about their time together as the symphony leaves the airport. Kirsten tells him, I was never scared with you, and he tells her how he was always scared. The finale ends with them parting ways yet again, but this time they get to say goodbye, and they each know the other will be okay.